I don't think we got any sort of like new challenges in that run. If I wanted to, I could just do a rerun of it. Uh, I could do a rerun and then start with the red key. That'd be great. So what the heck is a red key shard? I don't know. I'm, I'm very like interested now. What if we do a, a rerun? We still have the red key. I have, I have an item? <laughs> I have a, a glowing cross in my inventory right now. What is that? Also, I see a red, an outline for a red door. It's, it's just another room. Oh, right. I think I know what this item is. It's a, um, it's a, uh, 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 just like an infinite generating item. You can, you can infinitely play the game if you want, right? But what, what was the thing about the trinket? Why were you guys saying, oh, you gotta go to the trinket? Open up, open a random room outside of the map, yep. Drop some trinkets in bosses and treasure rooms. Trinkets turn into red key shards when left in a treasure or boss room. A key fragment you can pick up along the way. Red key's gone from the chest. In no rooms it does that, but in the house it opens a room. Okay, so it does something special in the house. Okay, so I, I definitely mess, missed it. Also, something something, trinket in, <laughs> trinket in a treasure room. So let's go find a treasure room and we'll, we'll take a look. Okay, it's a treasure room. Let's take Gemini. Drop a trinket. Definitely. Definitely isn't doing anything. <laughs> trinket is if you don't have the item. Trinkets turn into red key shows the left entry. Okay, I, I think I understand. I'm, I want I want a correct or an incorrect. If you leave a trinket in an item room and then you do the loop and go up and fight Dogma, on the way back up, this trinket will be replaced by another item that allows you to enter the red door room without having to have the red key. Correct or incorrect? Yes, that's not correct or incorrect. <laughs> that's why I wanted a completely unambiguous correct or incorrect. Thank you, okay. So, okay, so we don't have to have the red key in order to go back up, and there's a secret door that we can unlock. Now, don't tell me what's in the secret door. I wanna learn that on my own, but thank you for telling me that mechanic. I like learning about mechanics. I don't like spoilers, so thank you for telling me about the mechanic. It took me a while to, to figure out what you guys were talking about, though. Yes, because the boss rooms also are duplicated when you go up, as, as are the item rooms, as, as, I, I, uh, as I saw when I was doing that. It's, it's an Apache helicopter! Dude, Com uh, Comanche? Comanche! <laughs> Hell yeah! All right, so that's interesting. So. Um, at least right now for the red key, we can just kind of do infinite rooms if we wanted to. It just opens up the outside of the level, and I assume you can get like any any type of room. This could be very interesting if you can go infinite and just make uh, lots of rooms. You can get items and consumables and HP and money and anything you want. That seems pretty decent. Also, I did see the note about the cracked skull always has a fool card. Are you talking about the skull that has the X in it? Because that makes sense. Dad is in the closet holding a rainbow flag. Dad's in the closet, you gotta let him out. So yeah, the, so okay, so the X skull always has a fool card. I, I like that for two reasons. One is that you can always do dogma, and the second is that you can always do boss rush and teleport out. You wonder if you can go back down there, then back up on a rerun. I don't see why not. 
I don't know what this item is in the item list on the right. It's like a, a static cross. That seems very unusual. Tinted skull. <laughs> is there a time limit for dogma? Nope. Didn't seem like there was, because I, I mean, that run was like an hour long. But um, if you do boss rush, you can always teleport out with the fool card. And so if you do that, you can do boss rush and dogma in one run. Which seems like it could be a, a decent idea. This is my first time seeing you in a long time. Okay. I need more HP, dude. So if we wanted to, we could go down there. I still have the knife. Can we get multiple knives? Can we just build a run where we just get infinite knives? <laughs> oh, I also have no HP because of magic skin. God damn it. New save file, so it might be a while lol. A while what? To do all of the all of the dogmas? I mean, definitely. <laughs> that's that's not up for uh, for any sort of debate. It's gonna take a while. Yep, just got another room. Yeah, if, if I could build up a bunch of like charge generating items, that'd be a lot of fun. Yeah, there's so much stuff to unlock. Mother path, dogma path. Lots of stuff. Do 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 Ah, damn it, I meant to go in the other path again. And here's all of our items just like following us down because of that trinket that we have. It's a pretty good trinket, honestly. Oh dude, you know what? This trinket would be amazing on the uh the run where you are down to a half heart every 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 level. Uh uh the Bethany one. Oh, excuse me, I burped. You know the Bethany run I'm talking about? Red key the item room. Will, will the will that item room still have that red key door open on the dogma path? I'm just gonna call it dogma path when you're going back up, because I don't know what to call it. <laughs> Cause that'd be cool. I'm gonna go find the item room, use this key. I'm gonna use this key. Retrash says, I have 200 unlocks left and I beat Mother with all characters. Well, you just obviously don't play a lot of Isaac. Oh, that was a charged key! I love the sound of the pods breaking. It's a great sound effect. Magician, no thank you. There's my item room. Okay, item room. Key. Alright, I used, I used it. I got another another door out of it anyways. It's, that's good, right? It's you again. I've seen you before. I'm just gonna dump compost. Get this key and then go to another room. I like it. Oh, they even show up on the map as, as red rooms too. Yo, tears up squeezy. Thank you. I wish I could hold more of that HP though. <laughs> I still have the uh, the static cross lit up on the right side of the screen. I have no idea what that is. Yeah, Bloody Mary, there you go. I can't find Dogma Cross on Platinum God, but I swear I saw it somewhere yesterday, says Lady Risu. Is it like an item you can pick up? Because if it's an item that you can pick up, then whatever it is, we have it now. Whether that means that we can like do something special if we go back up and fight Dogma or or what, I don't know. Maybe you need this item in order to get the true Dogma ending and there's like another boss that we have to deal with. I don't know why I'm still going, but I guess we're still going, so let's go get another knife. <laughs> why not? Hey Downpour, how you doing? What is, oh, that's freaking, of course, it's you. No, I ate up my runes! I wanted those! But we're, we're losing some items because they didn't get all the HP here this time around. Can 
Can I get in? I want in! No! But I have the... The... The weirdo... Cross in my inventory. It's bright and light. Is there any reason reason to want the false PhD ever? I can't think of it. Also, what would happen with nor normal PhD and false one? Okay, so Dare Nunu. I actually had a very recent run in which I had false PhD, but good pills. And I'm gonna tell you what my opinion is on false PhD. The false PhD gives you bad pills, statistical downgrade pills, and it gives you just bad pills, like paralysis and amnesia and whatnot. When you use a statistical downgrade pill, you get a damage upgrade. When you use a bad pill that just kind of does bad stuff, you gain a black heart. So false PhD can give you both damage and black hearts. The damage come from other stats like range and shot speed and, you know, HP and, and whatnot. You don't have to take the pills, obviously. But that's what you get out of them. And I believe that if you... Oh, it's not a scythe. <laughs> I believe that if you um, get good pills, they don't give you anything. So having false PhD and regular PhD is not that good of a, of a combination. But at the very least, if you get uh, false PhD, you can just use bad pills for a while and gain some stats out of them. Anyways, that's kind of my... Well, I just get all the items again, huh? It's kind of what I expected and what I got. Uh, so this is like another range down. I don't want another range down. I want, oh no, it hurts. All right, you know what? I'm gonna go over here. Gonna dump this. There we go. Ah, don't hit the fire. I guess it doesn't really matter if you hit the fire. Probably nothing's gonna happen. But I want this. Myosotosis. It's actually pretty good, it seems like. Must have missed that run. You must have missed that run. <laughs> So yeah, the false PhD is actually pretty good because the damage upgrade you get is, uh, it can be kind of nice, especially if you get, like, other stat pills that don't really matter, like stat downgrade pills. You're like, I don't care about the stat downgrade. Give me, uh, ace of clubs. Ace of clubs. You know, give me, uh, give me damages, you know, instead of uh, tears. Why not? It's a very minor upgrade, I suppose, but it is something. Oh, at least I do have size now there. Wheel of Fortune. You know what I should do? I should go and... Oh, I just got hit once. Don't die. <laughs> Don't use my, uh... My last remaining guppy life. You know what I should do is I should use Wheel of Fortune in the boss room. Not this boss room, but, like, the real boss room. I should also probably use the, the key, but it's just... It's annoying to use, honestly. Oh, there's 99 bombs. There we go. Synthoil. Yeah, the ace cards, they uh, they hit normal enemies and they turn the normal enemies into consumables. So the ace cards are actually really good right now. T to have an ace card that is essentially a Necronomicon that is also better because it gives you a, a item, that's awesome. You know what? Let's think about this for a minute. Crimso, welcome. How's it going? This is on hard. Let's um let's put a card here that we want for later, like magician. I would not mind getting this potentially for the final fight. So, let's get magician. Well, if we if we go there, are we going to do that again? That whole nonsense. It did take a while to get to, but we are on. Uh... Oh, I went, didn't. I went in the wrong path. We are um... stronger now. Oh no! You know what? The card came down with me because of the trinket. <laughs> That's unfortunate. 
Well, I'm here now. So I need to I need to dump this uh, this trinket to make sure that the items stay in the item room if I dump them in there. It's funny. Um, you get a holy mantle in the mirror floor thing. Yeah, you, you do get holy mantle in the mirror, and it is nice that the tell is a lot. It's a lot more obvious now. Yo, is that a is that a secret secret room? <laughs> what? I have to I have to go check that out. What the heck is over there? It's a secret secret room. It's a secret secret room with an item in it. Swarm protector. I got conjoined. Yo, triple shot. That's amazing. That was awesome. <laughs> I did not expect to get a secret secret room, but I'll 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 take it, dude. So check your map before you leave, because if you get a secret secret room, you want to take advantage of it. It gave me an item. The Empress. Still taking damage. I would still like to get like another nine lives before I go and fight that horrible boss, by the way. That seemed like it was an extremely powerful, you know, thing to have. I wonder if all secret secret rooms or red secret rooms give you anything good like that, because that was that was real freaking good. Let's go and uh, keep exploring, shall we? Oops. Let's go this way. It didn't work. It didn't open up a. Look at that. Look at that. It didn't open up anything. I have to bomb my way through it. How? That's so weird. <laughs> oh, thank you, Placenta. Uh, thank, thank you, Placenta. That was strange. A little weird, annoying. All, all red secret rooms do give you items, says Retrash. Dude, that's amazing. And extremely powerful and potent. Oh, thank you. Yo, that bat fat did a lot of damage there. All right, this is actually sweet. I should be just using this. Yep. I forget what that does. I'd rather have the HP. Any doors? There's a door. Yeah, so I wonder if there's any way that you can increase the frequency of secret rooms spawning. Because that would be nice. I should have probably gone to the shop, but... There's all my items that are following me down over and over again. I hope that just by getting a little bit of extra damage we can you know, kick more ass when we get down there. I guess I'm gonna do it again. I mean, I've already kind of started the run. I didn't intend to when I started this. I was just like, wanted to, to see what I could do with the red key, because people were like, the red key, the red key. So I wanted to know what I could do with the red key. There's one. There's two. You think you can open it with bombs? Yep. <laughs> Honestly, that's pretty nice. So you can just kind of skip the whole thing. I also have this Viz following me around still. That's beautiful. How do you get extra lives besides Guppy says GT Cork? Nine, uh, so Dead Cat, nine lives gives you nine lives, but it reduces your health to one. But only initially. You can get more health afterwards, but it just sets your health to one when you pick it up. So it's a, it's a positive negative. The one-up item just gives you a one-up. And when you have that as your one-up item, you actually do maintain... Do I fly? I can just walk over pits. Hello? Okay. Um, oh, because I'm still guppy. <laughs> I'm still guppy, but I just walk. <laughs> All right. Um, so yeah, you have uh, 
Oh, good lord, this is so weird. Yo, what is this? It gave me a penny, hold on. I can't do anything with that penny, it just gave me a penny. All right. Uh, so yeah, so the one-up item just gives you a one-up. It's a green mushroom. Uh, there's another item that gives you a one-up. It is... I don't know what. You can pick up a bomb. I could have picked up the bomb! You're right! You're right! Because I do believe there were bombs in there. Yeah, I should have done that. That would have been smart. I was really curious to see what was what was going on in there. Like, is that a secret? I, I would not be surprised if it was a secret. A secret in that little secret area that you have to do to get the secret stuff. I do have two knives as well, which is beautiful. Not sure if anything happens, but it's weird for it to be there. I mean, I think I think it it's a secret because it it's a coin in front of a greed keeper that spawns from a button. The only thing is, I just forgot that I uh, could have grabbed one of those one of those other bombs, one of those red ones. I should have totally gone for it. That would have been amazing if there was like an actual secret there. A secret no one has discovered until now. Um, honestly, Halo flies would be pretty good right about now. I wonder if it opened the door. <laughs> Thanks, Spider Mod. Uh, give me double cards. I already have the sun and Hierophant. We can probably get rid of for I don't know. Lovers is okay. Just gives us some HP. What What do you think happens if you use a lovers card on the fight against uh, the fifth horseman of the apocalypse? You think the hearts fall into the lava and become unusable? <laughs> it's a secret room. Gives us an item. Hallowed ground. Mom's underwear. And another button. <laughs> There's another yellow button in the room too. You think that does anything? Well, I, I have to at least go back and check. At least have to go back and check. Whatever. The screw. Screw you, buddy. Uh, is that lovers? You know what? Feels like it's a good opportunity for this. Pop this. The lovers. There we go. No, wait, we can't do this path. We have to not do this path. That's right. Okay, I remember now. Let's go back and check out this this area over here, because it just looks weird. I wanna see what happened. What happens if I hit the button? Some familiars must just fall in the lava too. Maybe, maybe they they hover. I I mean I imagine you hover. Be well, cause you get you get flight, right? You get flight, but what happens to all the other things? Do they get flight? I don't know. You just never know. Is there a shop? There's a shop. We already bought at the shop. Let's get out of here. Let's go. Now we do not want to stay on the secondary path. We want to go back to the to the prime path. Path prime. I can finally get rid of little Gish. <laughs> What's wrong with little Gish? There's nothing wrong with little Gish. Get out of here. Okay, so we need to pay attention for a X skull. The X skull, this one right here, will give me a fool card. There it is. Man, it's like chat actually knows what they're talking about. Seven seals, little harbingers. Oh no, they can create wrath flies. I don't want wrath flies. <laughs> they hurt me. I do love this like army that I'm getting here. Ow. Well, I just lost an HP container, which is not good. Parasitoid. Beelzebub. 
Uh, Parasitoid is actually pretty decent, if I remember correctly. I gotta stop running into the enemies, though. <laughs> Magic Fingers, PhD, gave us a card, which is a Mercano. The Magician. The Fool. Well, I think this is okay. Though I still think the Magician could be okay, but our range is so bad. I have to assume it's probably not gonna be the best. All right, Isaac! Isaac! Get the Polaroid. We fool card out. Here we go. And are we good? I think we're good. I think we did everything on this floor, so let's go! Gehenna 2. We were just here. There's my magician card. I knew I still had it somewhere. It's just been following me the entire time, I guess. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to actually play you. That was my bad. These guys are kind of cute, but also they're scary because I know that the their big brother version is uh, really dangerous. Fires the four lasers everywhere. I gotta hit those red buttons more. <laughs> Hanged man, two of hearts. Guess we just want to keep the sun. Hold on, get out, get out of here. Two of hearts, get rid of it. Sun card, keep it. There's our item room. Lazarus is rags. All right, well, we'll, you know what? We'll play the game as Lazarus. How come that gave it me an item? You know what? I'm willing to bet what happened was I actually forgot to go into that room. I bet you that's what happened. Also can't seem to use the red key here. Maybe that's intentional. Oh right, no, because you have to do that floor. Then you get the note, I remember now. Now can I use the red key? Nope. I guess, you know, I might just not be able to use it here. Well, at least I lost one HP there. There's my HP back. Excuse me? Excuse me? If I get hit once, though, in that form, I will die, so I want to be very careful about that. And ideally not die. Mom, mom. Why did you just do that? Why did I just do what? Why did you just do that? Oh, hey, I can use the coin, or use the, the key. We'll try to get some more charges and see if we can't get like another item room. Getting, getting a, well, okay, maybe not. <laughs> getting a secret room items out of that key, it's a beautiful thing. It's very good. Yoink, yoink, yoink. Thank God for these flies. Well, you know what, sure. <laughs> you had two X lives, now you have three. I picked up an item, Quark, called Lazarus's Rags. Which means that if I die, I will respawn as Lazarus, who's another character. So if I die, I will come back as someone else. I'm gonna keep this. All right, well, I guess we're gonna keep this too. <laughs> Shoot the whoop. So now that we have the key, I guess we'll we'll keep it and we'll use it in the the weirdo key room that people keep telling me to to do with uh, in the dogma floor. But we got to get there first. Mom's bottle of pills. Yes, mother. I wasn't a mother already. I fought mother, but I wasn't mother. Now we're mother. Oh, come!
Come on! Yo, that's a cool looking enemy. I hate him though. You're all my friends? Oh, I hate you. There we go. It's just a room full of money. I hate the giant exploding bees. Not my favorite. Shoot the whoop as in the gungeon item? Exactly! You know what's up. You know what? I don't gotta care who I'm shooting. Don't pick up that pot. <laughs> wow, you actually are a little bit tanky too. No secret room, boo! What's nice is that when you find a secret room, it, it felt like the secret room opened immediately too. I didn't have to do anything to access it. That's certainly interesting. Whoops, what is this? Ace of clubs, I do not want to transform my, my sun card. Yeah, we also have a lot of damage. Ah, there's my HP. We have a lot of damage thanks to the, uh, Thanks to the money equals power item, giving us a lot. Okay, I don't want to use the key to make sure that I hold charges for it. Seems important. Just two bosses, huh? Oh, you know what, the HP bar, I get it. So it starts blue to indicate that the boss is at at full health and it gets closer to red as the boss loses health. I was wondering why it looked like, oh hello, it's just a boss. I was wondering why it looked a little, uh, a little funky. I get it now, it's been changed. It's been changed. Basement one. Cracked key, there it is. So I guess the cracked key you can use once in place of the red key but I'm still, I'm just gonna hold on to it, because why not? The whole point of this is to experiment, so let's experiment, dude. Oh, you're mine, you're my own brimstone bee. Oh, you're also bees. Oh, because I got, I'm guppy, and all the flies are mine, they're guppy flies. I get it now. I got guppy flies. Guppy fly, guppy fly, guppy's pretty fly. Pretty fly for a guppy. Should probably you know, stock up to full. I don't want cracked key. Well, I, we'll keep it active. I'm just not gonna use anything. Speed up. Feeling a little slow there, you know, flight, not being able to get hit by any obstacles. Felt like I could be a little bit faster, a little bit more maneuverable, you know. You think the bar under war is an indication of when he's gonna transform and, and change? I certainly hope so. Well, nothing in there. All right, let's do it. Now, we're home. We get one item. No, it's just a chest. Sun, Empress, we want the key. And we still have Or I'm, I'm looking for an outline here. Maybe in the floor? Not in the floor. Here? Here? Front door key? Side room? Side room? Key to the TV? Key to the couch. All right. Key, key, key. There it is, there's the outline right there. <laughs> Hello. He's gone. Is that like, oh, it's a, just, it's a mom item. <laughs> it's a mom item chest, of course it is. Do you think that's like uh, another character or do you think we've changed the fight somehow? 
I also can't use the cracked key. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. But, let's sleep in the bed. Ugh! Can barely make it! Is it because you're doing a rerun that it didn't unlock? That could also be the case, but at least now I understand, like, how it works, you know? And by understanding how it works, that's the, uh... That's the first part of the problem that we've solved. Okay, keep the Empress. Empress is good! Alright, let's do it. Probably... Oh, you're doing all new attacks, huh? Probably save... Our... Cards for the next phase, because this didn't really seem that long of a phase last time. I'd like to be in the middle, please. I would also like to not die, though. Oh my god, we do so much more damage with the freaking flies in this form. Whatever, take my HP. Okay, don't take that much HP, though. I like the visual effect on that, that boss there. You unlock the Forgotten when you touch him. Oh, is that, did they, did they change how you unlock the Forgotten? Because I was playing as the Forgotten. I already had unlocked them because that's how you unlock the Forgotten. Well, how you unlock the Forgotten in Afterbirth is you have to take like the shovel down to Sheol and then dig him up. But if that's a new way of unlocking the Forgotten, kind of like how they changed how you unlock the Lost, then maybe that's what happened. It's not the same, says chat. Okay, it's not the same. I will believe you. For now. Maybe not forever, but for a little while I'll believe you. Yo, I can, I can drag myself along in this form, you see that? Very interesting. I'm not, I'm not, it, it takes a little while to gain the momentum, but I'm not completely stationary. I also gain item charges during the fight, it seems like. That might be like some battery thing. Oh, the shot homed in on me because it homed in on my, on my uh, body. That's, that's, that's a little awkward. Also, all the spiders are just like falling into the ground. Because I'm Beelzebub, the spiders are mine and they're just falling. They're gonna do a lot of damage to the boss, though. They're gonna do a lot of damage to the boss. Ah! They go off the left side of the screen, but they come in on the right side of the screen. I kinda don't like that. It makes it hard for me. Oh my god, he was not able to be hit while he was transforming. Well, I guess we're gonna stay here. Okay, so this guy is gonna go off the right side of the screen. Where is he gonna be? The right side of the screen, all right. See, he actually made sense. Well, I died, but I'm also Judas! No, I'm still uh, forgotten. I still have a nine lives. I love when they shoot spiders. Oh, it's my um, pyrotosis sh shot. And they, the spiders just go into the lava. <laughs> You ready for this? That wasn't that much damage, honestly. I was expecting more spider damage. But I am shooting bullets that shoot lots of spiders right now. Look at all these spiders! I hope they're hitting him. They do not really look like they're hitting him, though. Where am I? I can't see myself. I got sucked in! I died and I came back. Who am I? I'm still me. Am I still me? I think I changed characters? I definitely changed characters. I think. I changed characters. I don't know who I am, though. <laughs> am I Lazarus? Because I still have a life! Who? What one-ups did I pick up? Oh, you know what? I just... 
Yeah, get out of here. I just don't have the... Oh, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> I don't have the ability to change because I was out of HP on the other form, maybe. I don't know. I, I was kind of confused as to what was going on there. But anyways, at least now we've learned what happens with the... Uh, with the key and where the where the secret is. Yeah, Abe's just cruising. I mean, I did have even an even stronger run than last time. Death's touch, homing shots for the fight. Uh, I was still guppy. I had a lot more damage ups. It's nice to have the HP spider for this fight. It, it was nice to be able to see where their HP was. Okay. So, you know what? At the very least, um, now I understand what I have to do, and I'll do that on... Yeah, do it on every character. I'll do that the next time I'm there legitimately. I will make sure in the future, if ever I get a, a bad trinket, I'll just dump it in the treasure room so we can have access to it. If we end up doing this route, I will try my best to unlock the door with the broken key shard and see what's in there and we'll figure out what that unlock is. If it is something different than the Forgotten, because someone, uh, Lady Risu did say Forgotten Unlock, but maybe there's another unlock called the Forgotten and you get some other Forgotten item or something, I don't know, but we'll figure it out. Okay, 